Greetings and welcome back to Rise of Cultures. And I have been doing a lot of battling. And you know what? There's a lot of battling in front of me if I am going to advance. What do I mean by that? Well, let's just take a look at our research. In the meantime, you can see I have actually done some advancement. I have acquired the trade items that I needed. I even unlocked this one, which allowed me to uh, upgrade my range barracks. Let's take a quick look at this. I've also done some rearranging here. You can see I have my military um, establishments all lined up here. I have the trade ones all lined up here. And I put my two wonders down here at the bottom. The uh, farms are around here, and I could add some more, but I'm not doing that just yet. We'll talk about that in a minute, too. Uh, but you can see here that this has been upgraded, so they're better. It also means that it's harder to actually replace them, and it costs a lot more time. So recovery from a battle is actually uh, time-consuming. All right, so let's go back over here. So the last thing left, and I am saying the last thing left, is basket weaving. All right, there's a reason why I didn't do this one. It's not really that important to me, but of course we do have to do it to advance, right? This is going to allow me a small home upgrade, and it's going to allow me a compact cultural site upgrade, and then I can build another one of them. I am short on iron pendants, so we're going to have to do something about that. All right, in the mean, we're going to get back to that in a minute. I just want to do this advancement. So why don't we take a trip over to the dock? By the way, there is a mission over here. As you can see, trading places, I have created three trade offers, and I have accepted two of three. So we're going to complete that one right now, hopefully. I want a deal, though, right? I want a deal. So let's go wide in here. All right, I'm going to go over to Global Offers. You can see I have 4,350 of the currency we need for here. Basically, I've been selling linen, the linen shirts. If you'll notice, I have a lot of wool and a lot of linen shirts because those tailoring places are actually very good for creating those two products. Uh, the other ones are lagging behind because of that. All right, so what I need here, I'm going to do a... Um, I'm looking, do I see something that I want... I don't need that many, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a search. And I'm going to search for what I need, which is iron pendants. I don't need that many. So, I mean, okay, I see an 80. I'll go with the 80 if I don't see something else. Because I don't need that many. Okay, I see two 60s. This is good. Um, I don't see... You know what? I'm going to grab one of those 60s. Scarlet O'Hara. All right, and you can see I got a little green check mark up there now because I just fulfilled that mission. So why don't we just do that right now? Right, so I just accepted a trade offer from somebody else. When I put one of my trade offers out there, you know, I uh, that fulfilled the, the other one. So why don't we just grab this? Okay, that is completed. You are a good student and have begun to master the rich tapestry of trade. You can now find me at the trade part where I will oversee all trade and offers. All right, so I guess we're done with that. Okay, I got some extra food. Food is an issue. Food is really an issue. Okay, forward the foundations. By the way, I really like your toga. Now that person has introduced us to trade, we should explore the potential that it brings, building a strong infrastructure to support the people and economy. Sire. Okay, we've already done that. Research six technologies in the Minoan era. That one hurts. We were going to have a little talk about that one, but that one hurts. All right, Sitting Bull. I've already done that one, so we might as well advance that. We're going to talk about the farms. Um, have two infantry barracks at level three. I did that. Have 48 infantry barracks. We did that. Okay, acquire six regions owned by the Minoans. Okay, so obviously I have five of six. As I mentioned... We have a lot of um, we have a lot of fighting ahead of us. All right, now I want to talk about the farm situation and uh, food. Now you'll notice that um, my food is lagging way behind the money, and it's at the point right now where I literally do not care if my houses have good faction or not. 
What's more important is that the farms do, which is the reason you can see the really smiley face around the farms. Because uh, the thing about it is I get enough money. Money is not a problem. My problem is that as I upgrade them, which I now am being forced to do, how many did she want? Four farms. Okay. Which I am now being forced to do makes it much harder for me to get food. What am I talking about? At the moment, I have 22 workers. The ones you, are, you don't see up there are actually tied up making food. For instance, right there. See, this one, I'm going to get food in like just over two minutes from two of them. So that's the reason I didn't close them out. I closed everybody else. Actually, I'm just going to end those because I'm going to put bigger ones in there next. But you can see it takes four workers in order to make food in this farm. Now, if I upgrade, it's going to be five workers. So let's do some math here. Uh, if I go over to this one, right, this one over here requires three, right? If I upgrade it, it's going to require four. So in other words, I have three rural farms at the moment. I can actually have another one, but there's really no reason for me to make it. The same thing with the domestic farm. I can make another one, but there's no reason for me to make it because I'm just not going to have the workers in order to do this. All right. If you look at the three rural farms, right? If I wanted them all going at one time, that's going to take nine right now. If I upgrade them, that's going to take 12, which is going to leave me with 10 free workers. Now, the big ones, I have two of them. If I want to use both of them right now, that's going to take eight, four per. If I upgrade them, that's going to take 10. In order to use all of my farms, that's all of my workers. I can't do anything else with them. I can't make any trade items or anything like that. And that's not counting the two farms I can actually make that I'm not making. Watch. Uh, farms, right. I could make an extra one of, e of both of them. It's just that it's not a matter of space. I could probably squeeze them in there. It's just that I won't be able to actually use them. So there's no purpose in actually making them. Unfortunately, I do have to do the upgrades now, which is a little bit on the annoying side because I do need a lot of trade items. See, the thing is, these guys right here, the big ones, you know, they're three and I can just tie them up for a long period of time, like an hour and a half, and I'll get a bunch of them back. But you look at this one, yeah, that's going to tie up three and then I have to come back in 30 minutes, you know, to put them onto something else. It's a little bit on the annoying side, which is the reason I'm falling behind. Okay, I got that one. The other one should follow. Here we go. Right, because I was actually at about 20,000 food. And that's the reason I actually turned all of them on. But I couldn't do anything else while that was going on. And that includes restoring my troops. I need, if I uh, lose somebody in the upgraded ones... I need three to restore them. So if I just come back from a battle and I lose like melee guys and I lose the archers, I need three in each one workers in order to restore them. But then again, they're all going to be doing farming. So yeah, I need a lot more workers, a lot more. Uh, at the moment, the horses are only uh, two because I haven't upgraded them yet because they're farther down the line. Like I said, there's a lot of fighting between here and there. All right, so this fellow over here wants me to capture another uh, region. Uh, let's take a trip out there. Okay, so he's got two right here. Each of them are five, count them, five combats. And you can bet that what you're looking at right now is probably the last one. That's probably where he is. So do I have to complete all 10 of these to get to him? It says I only need one more region. Let me tell you something. If I have my choice, it's going to be this one because it's going to give me a piece of land. It also gives me pieces for something. I'm guessing this is like, uh, yeah, for the watchtower and for the architect studio and the school. Um, so this one, at least it's got a reward at the end that's actually not so bad. Uh, whereas this one is a chest with... You know, two pieces, maybe two pieces of um, wonders. Okay, that's not a great reward right there. I'm hoping maybe if I just do this one, it'll let me do this. Because here's the thing. I am now at a complete stop 
in terms of research. Let me just show you this. Let's talk to Cleopatra for a moment. All right, first things first, actually. Let's do this. Okay, so can I do basket weaving? Yes, I can do basket weaving. Boom, we're done. Okay, so that's done. All right, so this one right here, I need 100 onks in order to advance this. So where do I get onks from? Uh, let's go back to her. And what's she going to give me? She's going to give me 100 onks. What does she want me to do? She wants me to acquire the region Valley of the Gods. Where is that? Yeah, that's where it is, over there, which means I have to do all of this and probably take his home before I can even attempt to do that, and then I'm going to have to capture that, and you know that's not going to be just one territory, right? So that's what I mean by there is a lot of fighting in my future. And do I even need trade items at the moment? I probably can go into full food production because I'm probably not going to need them for anything. I mean, I will need them in the future. I mean, this one right here. Can I see this one? Okay, no, I'm going to need what? I don't even know what that is. All right, so I guess that's a different currency or something. I'm not really sure what that one is. Um, if I move up here... Okay, now we start to see the trade items that I know. All right, so I'm guessing maybe... Here, let's go back over here. Small home, unlock city. I guess allied culture, I'll get that somehow. So I'm not really sure what this is. Maybe it's some kind of diplomacy thing. I have no idea. Um, but the thing is, I can't even do this one, which means I can't do any more research advancement until after I have taken care of King Midos and all his friends and taken the Valley of the Gods and basically made friends with Cleopatra. So uh, when she gives me the onks, that's when I can advance. Now, I can actually put that stuff in there. So, you know, it's not going to go too much of a loss. And uh, if I want somewhere to put research, you want to see a sink? Here's a sink. 40. The thing about it is I don't really care about this one. I mean... Do I really care about another 1.5% of gold production? I have 1.44 million of it. Now, what I'd really like is I'd like an upgrade for this, but as you can see, I only have one blueprint part. So I would like some more of that because food is definitely the issue here. So I do have upgrades. You know, I have these upgrades of the, um, the melee guys and the archers. And they are very efficient. At least they have been. So why don't we just go to battle right now. And then you can see what kind of recovery time we're talking about. All right. No, I'm going to do this one. Because this one gives me land. I'm hoping I can get away with only doing one of those regions. Because King Minos is only asking for one. He's asking me for, to conquer one of his areas, right? All right. So let's see. These really haven't been too much of a problem since I've done my upgrades. All right, uh, let's just back out a little bit here. Now, what I like to do... Why, why would you do that? Look right there. You have the cavalry, you have the spear people there, and then you have the melee behind them. Why would you ever do that? Ugh, I have no idea. All right, let's put these guys down. And they just do that every time. What I like to do is I like to match up melee to melee, right? Like that, so that they'll clash with one another. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do here, though. And at this point, I should probably just keep my archers in the middle behind melee so they can do stuff. And then we're just going to do horsies. I'll do horsies over here, and we'll put horsies over here, too. I don't foresee any problems here. I think it's pretty easy at this point. Okay, uh, heal right in there. And stone. Why are you aiming there? Aiming over there is a good idea. I mean, see what I mean? It's, it's pretty decisive. And I have a lot of my horsies back, too. I lost three horsies from one of them. 
But look, I mean, it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty easy actually. So upgrading the um, the troops definitely does help. I wonder if he has any words of wisdom. No, he doesn't. All right, probably not going to be any until I take the rest of his land away from him. So that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping if I can capture this one, then I can just go into the city because I only need one more region, right? I don't care about this one. There's not enough reward to justify the pain of five of those battles. What I mean by that is recovering. Okay, so these guys lost a lot here. So this is going to take, that's going to take three minutes. And I guess it's five minutes total for a full one, right? And let's go over here. That one. I only lost one over there, so that one is not going to be a problem. The, okay, I didn't lose any of these. Thank goodness, because these guys take a long time. Uh, the horses are generally, I think they're like two and a half minutes each. Let's see. Yeah, that's about it. That's about it. So it's 10 minutes if it's a full th uh, four of them. Here, give me that. Okay, and that first one is done. So I'm going to have to do at least... How many battles would that be? Okay, there's four more in that region. Then if it allows me to go right for his headquarters, then it would be one. If not, I have to do five more. After I finish him off, I have to do Valley of the Gods... Is that going to be three, four, five? I have no idea. I doubt it's going to be one. So there's a lot of fighting between here and there. That's for sure. And uh, let's see. Uh, farms. I'm going to have to do the farms now. Yeah. Right. He's only asking for one more region. I'm hoping that the next one... Actually, that'll probably end that section. So maybe I'm going right after him then. I don't really know. It could be that in order to open up his headquarters, I have to take both of those. I hope not. Like I said, there's no real reward. If there was a piece of land, that'd be fine. Uh, because I have this land, the one next to the horses here. I'd like to get the one just above that too. Because I can't move the, um, I can't move them out. Let me show you what I mean. You see what I mean? Um, it's not enough to fit this. Hold on, let me just grab this. I'd like to get the one up here. That way I can move these guys out. And I only really care about, the, in terms of the cultural sites, I think I can upgrade a couple of the cultural sites now, right? Yeah, the compact ones. How much is that? Three minutes for two. Yeah, why not? I got a bunch of them I can do, right? Where are all the cultural sites? This one here? No, not that. Sometimes it can be hard to actually click on these. There we go. All right, start working on that. And that's taking a chunk of food, too. Did you see that? It was like 7,000 food for that one. All right, let's just do that. All right, upgrade. Yeah, 7,700 food. Don't even care about the money. I do care about the food, though. I'll do the rest of them later. But I'm going to have to upgrade the farms. And, uh, yeah, that's going to make gathering food a much bigger problem here. I mean, they give you more but it's not enough to justify the extra workers because I really do need to uh, get stuff going. I have been entirely using the... Um, here in a second. I've been entirely using the linen shirts. I've been doing like 80... What is it? Like 80 at a time. Getting 1,200. That's how I got those points up there. Uh, but at the moment, since I'm not going to be producing them, I'm going to hold on to them. By the way, I don't think I'm going to need these... Okay, I would like more of those, please. That's something I would like to upgrade. I think there was another one around here somewhere. Did I grab it already? No, there it is. There it is. That's probably just money and food. Money and food. All right. I keep my eyes open for the uh, the gems. Anyway, um... Yeah, so that's the thing. You can see I did arrange things. I put all the small houses over here. There's one cultural site there. And then I haven't upgraded this one yet. I might as well work on that. I think I have to upgrade that one twice. What level are you? You're six. And I can still upgrade you again. How much do you need? Three. Okay. 
I might as well. If I'm not going to go with uh, happiness, I might as well upgrade them as much as I can. Now, these guys are going to take a while. I can do that one. Um, it is taking... Look at... Oh, wow. 13,000 food for that one. So, yeah, the food goes very quickly here. Look, I'm already down to 70,000 just from doing minor little upgrades here. So, oh, and he's finally done. Is that one done too? No, that one is still going. 30 seconds on it. Will that be it? I think that'll be it. After that, we could probably do another battle, which I wouldn't mind doing. Uh, as many as I can do is a good thing. So, I am at a complete stop at the moment until I can actually fulfill Cleopatra's uh, uh, mission to take the Valley of the Gods, which I can't access yet, I am pretty much at a complete stop. Then I'll be able to do this. Oh, not that one. But that one has some interesting stuff. A gold mine? Papyrus feel? Okay, I'm going to need a lot of space, ain't I? Is that gold over there? Is that what that is? Okay, I have no idea. What did I get here? Okay, I've unlocked the allied culture. I don't know what that means. I'm sure we'll figure that out. But, uh, yeah, a lot of fighting. I'm going to need a lot of fighting to get there. All right, are you done? Okay, I think we got the full force going here, and we could do another fight. Okay, and do that one. And there was much happiness. Much happiness. All right, we'll do one more battle over here. All right, it turns out that my horsies and my melee weren't ready yet, but they are ready now. And no, I don't know why you're pointing there, because I want to go here. All right, why don't we just jump in here and see what they got. And it looks like they have um, missile guys in front of their melee again. I, I guess the melee guys are frightened or something. I don't know. Okay, put them in front of them, them in front of them. And they're about there? I think they're there. All right, um... They're pretty bunched up over here, so why don't we do this? And I could concentrate my horsies over here. All right, let's see how that goes. Okay, they cut to the wrong direction. I didn't like that. Uh, these guys need it more. Okay, and hit them. Okay, that was, that was not good from my guys. The horsies really should have stayed to the, uh, the right there. Okay, heal there, and bump on the head. All right, that's going to take a long time to recover from. Yep, that one's going to take a while. Lost nearly all my horsies. Just one left, I think. And I'm back and back out. Yeah, so that one is going to take a while. That, and that one is a full 10 minutes over there. And uh, do I, I have enough to do, I actually lost two of my archers that time. All right, and these guys, oof, big trouble, big trouble, big trouble. Like I said, there's a lot of fighting and a lot of recovering in the future. So, okay, and I upgraded that. And grab all of that. I think I need... Okay, this one was already being upgraded. So, there is no more advancement until I can fulfill Cleo's uh, mission to retake the Valley of the Gods. So, yeah, there's a whole lot of fighting coming. A whole lot of fighting. So I think that that's going to be it for now. So I'm going to work on food, try to squeeze some good trading goods in there. But, you know, it's really food that I need the most. Food just vanishes very quickly, especially when you're doing upgrades. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.